Hello, Sagittarius. This is my lady. Uh-oh. So, somebody wants to be free from somebody because of a sacrifice. And it seems like some people are trying to hold you back from a situation where somebody is using you. Okay? So, if I go this way, somebody's using you. Somebody's trying to protect you or hold you back from something that is... You're trying to sacrifice or somebody trying to make you sacrifice. And then I feel like in the end, it's whatever the situation is, it's going to be gone. All right. Somebody trying to protect you from freedom of a situation or help you get freedom from a situation. All right. So Sagittarius, this is my lady from Malay's Way Terror. And I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 7th through the... 13, 2017, the cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and commenting, and setting up personal readings with me. I really appreciate you guys for choosing me. And um, make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs. I said that, but I can't stress it enough. Okay, so let's get this show on the road. What's going on for Sagittarius? Sagittarius for the week of August 8th through 17th, 2017. Okay. Okay, so there are some gifts going around here. Some presents. Hmm. Okay, so... There's something going on with pregnant. I don't want to say pregnancies. But it's like. I don't know. Fate is taking over. Like somebody is getting something. And it's like. It's, supp it's supposed to happen. Or something like that. Okay. So. This could be a relationship. Or this could be a baby. But something. Maybe it's somebody pregnant and it was supposed to happen. Or maybe somebody's supposed to start a new relationship and it was supposed to happen. But I don't know. I feel like I want to, I got to say that it's supposed to happen this way. Okay. Wahoo. This, um... There's some like the Leo, um, but it's probably just part of the fire sign thing. So something going on at work, you know, maybe somebody fell in love with somebody at work and it just seems so wrong, but it, somebody really care about this relationship. But whatever this situation is, it's supposed to happen this way. All right. What's going on for Sagittarius? I don't know. Have I been saying Leo? I think I've been saying Leo. I'm going to finish this one, but I'm going to start over, y'all. I'm sorry. All right. So, in some of these cases, there is a third party. So, yeah, this sounds just like the uh, the Leo reading. It's a third party going on. And somebody might be pregnant by a third party, but everything is happening like it's supposed to be. Somebody then fell in love with their boss. But they boss... No, you have somebody else. So you fell in love with somebody else. You might be pregnant and you might have somebody at home, but you end up pregnant by your boss. And I don't feel like your boss has anybody. But the thing is, is it can go both ways. So this could be your boss who has somebody at home and then they got you pregnant and you don't have anybody. Or vice versa. Anyone, male, female, you can put any anything in any place but i'm sorry y'all but i am gonna redo this a little bit so ooh. so somebody think about i feel like you thinking about sacrificing the child you you don't want the child but the other party does but it's like this was meant to happen everything was supposed to happen exactly like it's happening but it's like on you to take that but i'm sorry i think i said leo so, we're going to go back and do Sagittarius. All right, what's going on for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. 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 August. Sorry, I got to clean the cards. Sagittarius. 
August 7 through 13, 2017. Sagittarius 7 through 13, 2017. Mm. Never did this before. I feel like everything happens for a reason, so. All right, still, something going on at work, right? Somebody is in love with their boss or dealing with their boss. They're coming out of a state of um, a dream, like bad dreams, like a horrible backstabbing, everybody doing horrible things to them, you know, just being in their head about everything that's going on, you know, coming out of that. There's a baby. There's nothing else to say about this. There's a baby that's going down with your boss. That's it. And your boss might be a Leo. Um, you are having visions of what might happen in this situation. But right now, you just like, let's see if it happens. You know, the friends that you have, they're not your friends. They're stabbing you in the back. Um, they're trying to... Yeah, your work friends. Don't deal with them. They're not your friends. Third party situation. Same thing. So it's... You might be dealing with a Leo. But it's something going on with third party situation. Uh, I'm feeling like you might be pregnant by your boss. Vice versa. It could be anyway. But don't trust anybody at work with this information. You're coming out of a, a time of being in your head. And you start to accept stuff. And... You already see how everything is about to play out. So it's basically you arrived at your destination. It's like, what, what to do now? You know? Yeah, this is a big one. All right, so read these straight out the book. I don't know. I may or may not because I don't want to take you guys too far over the seven-minute mark. All right, what's going on for Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius for the week of August? August, August, August. 7-13-2017. Okay, guys. I am so sorry, but I felt like it is supposed to happen this way. I really don't like doing redos because I feel like there's a reason for everything. Sorry. Mm. All right. Let's read this. So, we got the Six of Coins reversed. It says, a card of envy, hoarding, misdirected lust, perceived imbalance. There's an imbalance going on here because somebody has a wife at home or a husband. All right, so we got a two of cups, two of cups, two of cups, two of cups. Hmm. Um, this is a card of union of two people coming together, a time of understanding between the two people. So, yay, yeah, right now y'all trying to figure out what y'all going to do about this, you know? Mm. what's going on okay then we have the nine of cups uh, after much work you will be rewarded for your efforts be careful not to appear both full and vain a card of accomplishment and self satisfaction comfort quiet and celebration so it's basically like Whatever the situation to come out, you're going to become comfortable with it. You know, you're going to feel like this is what's supposed to happen. This is what I'm going to do. So now you have the seven of swords. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven. All right. Seven of swords word. Result product of your labor, wisdom, and outside support. So it's basically like, I feel like... For some of you right now, you feel like you made a, a bad decision and it's because of these people at work. Um, I feel like some of them convince you to like go along, but it's you that did it. You know what I'm saying? Convince you to do this and do that and you did it. And then they talking about you behind your back. But in reality, only you can do what, what you did. So... That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Um, other than that, you guys have a great week.